Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Happy Monday. This time, right now, we are going to cover the market outlook for this next week of FIFA Ultimate Team as we usually do on Monday. So we're going to start out with that, talk about the cards that are in packs this week, possible promos upcoming at the end of the week, some SBC stuff, and uh, general market trends and objectives, icon swap stuff as well, because that this season... Right now, we only have four days left. As you can see up here in the top, four days left of this season. So that means we'll get new icon swap objectives um, at some point in this next week as well, probably on Friday. So we'll talk about that uh, along with the headliner cards, out of pack stuff, and maybe the next promo, possibly. We're not sure yet, but I see some signs possibly pointing towards another promo of sorts. So I first want to take a look at these new headliner cards. This is set one. But today on Sunday, and of course some of the games yesterday from Saturday, we had some uh, players that performed well IRL, and that's why you're seeing some increased prices on these cards. It's actually kind of funny because three of like the top cards in this first set of headliners had great games this weekend. Neymar had two goals. He's up around 400,000 coins-ish, almost 500k. Mertens is up like 50 or 60k, I think, from his absolute lowest. I think I'd pretty, I'm pretty, sure, pretty sure I saw him around like seven, 670 at one point. So he'd be up almost 50k from that. And then Lewandowski is up almost 100k from his lowest uh, as he had a great performance on Saturday. So that's why you're seeing these cards up. And again, these cards are live items and that has the hype on them. So uh, and that brings the hype to them. Um, from set two, I don't see a ton of stuff that's really moved from this. These guys still seem kind of cheap to me, except for Wijnaldum. Uh, I still think these guys are decently cheap. Cheaper than the first batch, uh, a bit more investable, I guess you could say. But we'll talk about maybe these guys not being the best investment out of packs just in case we do get a certain promo called Future Stars later this weekend. But if you're somebody who's interested, if you have a Lewandowski, if you have a Neymar, if you have a Mertens, uh, the safe route for a lot of these cards is probably going to be selling into the hype for a team of the week because these cards are really inflated because of that. And then if you see any panic selling on those because then they're not getting into the team of the week, um, all these teams seem to have, especially Napoli, because Napoli beat Juventus today, 2-1. to one. That was huge, because that means that uh, Mertens and Napoli, those guys, they have a couple easier games coming up. So um, Mertens getting that four consecutive win streak upgrade seems very, very possible for them um, after this Juventus defeat and beating Juventus on Sunday t uh, today. So watch some of those cards. Again, if you have one of them, if you want to sell into the hype, if you bought it for trading purposes only, that maybe you sell it Tuesday before Team of the Week comes out, stuff like that, just to take the safe route on some of those. And then a lot of people are asking, do I invest in the second set of headliners? I do think there's a couple cards that you could pop into your club if you wanted to, but I wouldn't do too much more than just like adding one to the transfer list or putting one in your club if you're on a high budget. Uh, Tiago Silva seems decent to me. I think this Kappa card seems pretty decent to me as well. James Madison is now a very usable card in my opinion at 130k as well. That's just one that so many people can go out and try. I like him. I like Sterling. Um, Aubameyang, eh, not so much. Um, maybe Digne and Delaney as well not, are, aren't too bad of options either. But uh, obviously, Ilicic scores a lot of goals. He could easily get to an 89 rated. And that would just be a card you want to trade with. I, I don't think a lot of people would want to use this card in the game. But, you know, one or two upgrades on Ilicic and he's got... 90 plus shooting, 90 plus passing, we'll get over that 80 um, pace mark. So we'll kind of start to mirror a, uh, in like a Lewandowski-esque player with that upgrade right there. So that's an interesting thing to look at. And that's my opinion on some of those cards. This week, Team of the Week stuff. I know some of you guys like to invest in Team of the Week. Obviously, this Halon card is fluctuating a ton. Now, I do want to point this out. I don't know if you guys follow Nick on the foot market. You probably do. Um, one of the most well-known traders on Twitch. He tweeted, and YouTube, he tweeted out this uh, flip that he had last night. He bought Hollands at like 240-ish and sold them at 280 using this fluctuation right here, which this card has been doing for the past couple of days. Now, since he tweeted that out, it's something you'll see a lot of times when somebody tweets a card out that they made a lot of coins on it, especially somebody with a lot of influence like he has, you won't see that, that card dip as low because there's more eyes on that card now. So like last night at this time, this card was at this this price right here it was like 240,000 coins, but currently he's like 258, 260, just because I think a lot more people are watching this card. Um, and especially with future stars coming up, I feel like 
Holland should be getting a future stars, right? I mean, he, he could obviously get a winter once to watch, transferring to Dortmund. So it's going to be interesting to see what EA d does with some of these special cards and how many special cards they choose to give a guy like Holland because he could be due for a lot, but he's already 86 rated. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens with this. But if there is a future stars Holland that is coming and that starts to get teased this week, or even if the future stars promo is starting to be, if there's loading screens early this week, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, we get loading screens or even Thursday, a loading screen for this card, then I would expect to see um, a little bit of panic selling on this one because people would really assume that he would be getting a future stars card. So that's just something to kind of look out for and watch for. If it's, if you're somebody who has this card or you, you want to buy it, um, it is a very, very high in demand card in this game, but that's just kind of my thoughts on him. Other team of the week cards, if you want to invest in anything from team of the week, um, if you're going to do like a chuck one in the club type thing, this guy right here, Upa Meccano, I think he's like, what, is he 18K? Somewhere around like 17 or 18K. If this guy ever dips to like around 15, uh, I might just chuck one in the club. This might be a guy, maybe you, you can uh, snag him on bid for like a 15,000 coin or something like that. Chuck one in the club, he could barely, very easily be 16K, or not 16, he could very easily be uh, above 20,000 coins out of packs, in my opinion, because that is a very cheap beast kind of card. Uh, a lot of people used him early on in foot, so... Uh, and he's French as well. So this is like a cheap beast kind of card uh, that I think a lot of people would use. I did not get that one at 15. Darn it. Uh, and then Casemiro doesn't uh, look too bad to me either. Real Madrid, Casemiro. A lot of people like Real Madrid in this game. Of course, there's a lot of Real Madrid fa fans out there in the world. Even though it's not the best card ever. You know, he's just around 50,000 coins for his inform. You kind of have to block out the UCL card maybe with your price range here. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, but this could be the type of card that you try to snag somewhere around that like 50, sub 50 range if you could. 52k for Casemiro right now at the moment. The pace is the huge thing for him, but he's Brazilian. He's Real Madrid. There will be a decent amount of people that want to use that card. And then other than that, I don't see anything else in this team of the week that's really investable in my opinion. Maybe a Tiago. You could pick up a Tiago or a Lucas Leiva. Uh, but a lot of that stuff is more, it's almost like an SBC investment type thing in uh instead of like a you know an out of packs usable type of investment so that's kind of how i feel about the team of the week but again this week is the end of the headliners promo we're seeing the second set of cards these cards right here go out of packs and this is the thing i want to talk about with sbcs i really feel like there's going to be another promo coming this weekend because if you look at all the sbcs that were released during this promo of headliners like a headliner, uh, a headliner card or a flashback or a moments SBC that actually had a, uh, a time uh, frame on it. A lot of these cards are expiring on Tuesday, right? So Mateo Valbuena, he expires on Tuesday at the same time as the gold upgrade pack does. I believe that Smalling has already expired, but Deli Ali I think expires and Tammy Abraham, I think they both expire at like the same time. If we actually go over here to Footbin and check it out, I think all of these cards right here, like the headliners SBCs, expire in 16 hours or um or more 40 out 40 hours or less so deli ali this is exactly what's going on here deli ali expires on monday tammy expires on monday so then there's the headliners challenge and flashback mateo valbuena both those guys expire and then basically we're done 81 plus sbcs go away and that is basically we are finished with the headliners promo and all the sbcs are gone so if when we get to when we get to Tuesday at 6 p.m. UK, there's nothing. There's literally going to be nothing except for some of these Player of the Month SBCs that are still lingering around just because they're up for 30 days apiece. We know about those. And then, of course, uh, Dive of the Wiz even ends on Tuesday. But then we have some of the non-expiring cards back here with Leroy Sané and, um, and Eden Hazard as well. So we still have a few of these cards that are back here. But this makes me really think that there could be a promo coming this next week. Because of the possibility that everything just is cut off cold, there's nothing else happening. I wouldn't be too surprised if Tuesday we saw a loading screen for the next promo, which would be running on Friday, which could be future stars. And that would cause, I think, a little bit of a downturn in the market because people were so excited for future stars last year. They were so, so excited for that promo and for what it was and what it brought to the game, what it brought to the game. Uh, that I feel like there'd be people that would want to sell cards to get ready for that promo because there was a little bit of a panic sell last year. 
as we headed out of team of the year into the promo because those cards were just new. It was a cool concept and a lot of people were just all about it uh, with the future stars promo. So I would be on your toes, possibly, you know, Tuesday might be a kind of a day where we see, okay, this might be a day where we can tell what EA is going to be planning on doing for the rest of the week based on what they do on Tuesday. Now they've been doing these loading screens. I don't even know if there's one right now. I don't even, there's gotta be one. We're in the headliners promo. I probably just don't notice it because I'm used to it all the time now, but they have continually dropped these loading screens that they update at least every day. And then the last day of the promo, like right before the promo drops, they keep dropping it to update hints, right? So I'm really curious to see if we get another one of those loading screens where they start to tease the promo like Tuesday, and then a new one on Wednesday, and then a new one on Thursday, and then Friday we get the actual promo. So I would be really curious to see if we get that for Future Stars this week, if that promo is actually going to run this week, because last year for Future Stars was the first year that we got a loading screen like that far in advance. I think we got a loading screen on Monday. Either Monday or Tuesday, we got a loading screen last year, and that was the one where everybody freaked out, and they're like, what are these cards? We don't know what this design is. Is it Record Breakers? Is it like Winter wants to watch? Are they doing something different? It was crazy, right? So that could happen uh, this week, and since all these SBCs are going away, uh, there's the only demand really is the Ben Yetter SBC, which I do think people will do this SBC if there's nothing else to do in the game. They'll finish grinding their icon swaps and they'll do this Ben Yetter SBC. So I have a little bit of a suspicion with some of these high rated golds that it could be possibly a time to kind of watch these drop a little bit. Not saying that it would be investable, but maybe you see these cards drop a little bit with their value being held up just a smidge because of Ben Yetter. These cards are down a little bit from what they were when the Ben Yetter first came out, but they might hold their value. You know, you might see them drop to like 15 or 16k ish later on in the week if there's nothing that's coming. Uh, but then other than that, I don't think you're going to see them get to a really, really investable point. I use 86s a lot of time for like my, my standard for the high rated market, right? Because the 86s are used in any SBC from 84 rated SBC, maybe, um, probably in an 85, definitely in an 86, and then 87 and 88 SBCs, they're definitely used in as well. So the 86 and the 85 to me are kind of like the all around SBC fodder card. So I really watch these guys' prices the most. I don't ever buy 86s, and, and this is what I would recommend for you guys. A lot of you guys like to trade with fodder. Fodder fluctuates a lot, is needed for like every SBC, and that's a great shout, right? But for you guys that want to invest in fodder, always look at these cards and set a buy price that is like a good buy price for these cards. And you can adjust that a little bit, but look look what happens with these cards, right? Okay, now we're after the like Black Friday time of the year, so there's a lot more SBCs. So these cards drop to 14K, all right? Then they boom, he goes up to 16, nice. Goes down back to 14 again, back to 16. Down to 14, actually under 14K, and then bang, up to 19. Back down to 15, 14, up to 16. Back down to 14 again, and then all this past week with all the SBCs, back up to 19 or 20K for Muller. I wanna see these guys back down at 14K before um, I wanna invest in them or even club stock them again. And that's what I would do if I were you. Look through some of these graphs. It's different per player, right? Usually Parejo is one of the most expensive 86s. Usually like guy like, um, is Benucci? I don't know if a Benucci is an 87, but there's an 80 or an 86. I think Benucci is an 86. But Benucci is one of those guys that uh, is usually one of the more expensive uh, of the 86 rated cards. So just kind of set a buy price for some of this fodder stuff and don't buy it unless it goes below that price just to be safe, right? Because we always have SBCs now in this game. Since we have SBCs like the Hazard and like the Sane, which have no expiration, those are like the icon SBCs of last year that always kind of give us just a, just a tiny bit of demand that is consistent for the high rated golds. And they've been putting out player SBCs like mad anyway this year. So I would expect those players to fluctuate even more in the coming months. But if you were looking to do a club stock, there might be an opportunity on some of the high rated stuff later this week, depending on how many people do want to do that Ben Yedder card. Uh, but then, you know, just talking general trading stuff really quick for the market this week, out of pack special cards, scream cards, team of the year nominees, team of the group stage and stuff like that. Um, that I would be very, very interested in looking at some of this stuff this week. I know some of these cards have multiple special versions. Sterling now, this card used to be a seller at 180K easily. He's now down to 150. That's a card that I'm kind of interested in, right? Because Sterling's new card is 385, almost 400K. And uh, that's a pretty big difference on the left wing side with this card being a 140. 
I think this one's like 120 or 130, but it's the right side. So um, it's, it's kind of the cards like this just interest me a little bit this week. And then, of course, getting on open bids for this stuff. I can win scream cards a lot of times, not necessarily Hamas, but other scream cards you can win on the market for a decent amount under their buy now price because uh, people list on open bids on those, try to get their coins out of them, and they go, they kind of get slept on a little bit, right? So scream cards, uh, team of the group stage, all of the special cards out of packs, hop on the bids this week, especially late at night for the quick flipping type stuff. And this market still has a decent amount of coins. So you're probably going to see me back here on the Icon 59th a little bit as well. Um, I'm kind of in a really decent budget for what I usually like to trade with Icons. I really like to trade in this this kind of range right here. Like the the 750k to 1.5 mil is my like bread and butter range on some of the Icons. Once you set up a nice filter, um, I really like this range because you know you get a 100k undercut and boom, for a million or for a million coin card, um, you get a 100k undercut. And uh, you're looking at some really nice profit on a very easy flip because there's a lot of people that can afford this range of icons unlike others. So just get yourself a good filter. Get to the 59th this week. People still have coins in this game. That's what I'm feeling. If there's so many people that want to do the Ben Yedder SBC um, that's keeping some of these high rateds up, then I feel like people do have coins. So icon trading this week could be pretty good uh, because people do still have some coins. And then I want to talk about icon swaps again because right now, we are in our second set of icon swaps and in the new year's season is what they're calling it. I'm really curious to see what they start this season as that will be basically beginning at the end of the week. Uh, but it is in February, right? What does the calendar say? Um, the end of this week is January 31st. So Friday this week is January 31st. That means we'll basically be into February. We're like two weeks away from Prime Icon Moments, believe it or not, by the end of this week. So Prime Icon Moments might come out at the end of whatever season they're going to post up there, which will be very interesting. We'll have to talk about that in the coming weeks as well. Um, but then, you know, we're just kind of in that time of the year where it's like uh, where FIFA usually kind of turns downhill a little bit. There's not as much stuff going on. But February is still a pretty solid month for this game because of Prime Icon moments this year, because of the Champions League stuff heating back up with Road to the Final cards, whatever content EA is going to drop with that. Last year, we had like that UCL premium upgrade SBC where you had like team of the knockout stage items or team of the team of the group stage items. You had the UCL rares. You had the um, road to the final cards and Champions League man of the matches. When those start to come out, you had all of those in packs um, through that SBC. So that was kind of cool. Um, but I'm really curious to see what they name that season as well, because the naming of the seasons kind of interests me. And I think that they kind of just kind of put their rewards and. The name of the season shouldn't be look, uh, overlooked because it probably relates to something that's inside of those objectives and stuff. So icon swaps, again, these are only out for another four days. So if you're looking to grind those, four more days to do that. And then if you're trying to get yourself uh, Tomiyasu, Caceres, or then get to the end for Felipe Anderson and Awar, your time is really coming short on these um, if you're trying to grind these objectives. I actually, I think I should be able to get to Caceres or Tomiyasu, which I'll probably take Tomiyasu, but uh, I've never gotten a, a storyline player yet because I haven't uh, just, haven't played the game as much, man. I don't play a lot of games, as you can tell by my record, but um, that is ending this week. So if you're chasing after the icon swaps, that is going to be coming to a close, at least your second, second set of six tokens, right? So right now there's 12 tokens available. So if you're somebody who's really trying to grind these tokens, the best you can get right now is Socrates, Zambrata, Nakata, Pires, Kuman, Seedorf, Raul. Like, I'm really curious to see what they do with this next set of tokens. I think they have to give us all 12 in the next set. So we'll have six via squad battles and six via online, I guess. Uh, but I do think they'll have to give us, if there's going to be 24 swap tokens, like there usually are, I think the next 12 will be coming on this Friday. So maybe this Friday we see the Future Stars promo. We see the new Icon Swap objectives put out and it'll be a pretty solid Friday on the game. I don't think they can do winter upgrades and winter ones to watch stuff just yet because it'll still be the end of February. Usually that the winter ones to watch usually comes out like two weeks or so into February. So maybe you see winter ones to watch in the new season uh, when prime icon prime moment icons come out, you might see that in like two weeks from now. But um, I do think it's possible that Future Stars comes out on Friday, just because again of how I see all these SBCs ending and uh, kind of going away. But other than that, for this week, it might be kind of a quieter week 
uh, re just regarding the normal content that we do get in the game. Today is Monday, and a lot of times on the last day of a promo, they don't release a lot of content. That's just kind of the way that they go. Um, I was surprised that we didn't get a player SBC today. All we got was a headliner SBC. But again, it is Sunday, and a lot of times we don't get Sunday content. So just getting a Prime Electrum Players Pack, I guess, was fine with me. But they there was supposedly some leaks that we were still getting one more player SBC that really just didn't come. Unless they drop it last day today, which I would think is unlikely, then I doubt that will be coming. Um, just a couple sales that I had in a day. Nothing crazy. Socrates about that for 700k flat last night on stream. I got this at 80k and I got this at 175. Flipped that for 200 for a lazy because it was fresh. I bought this at 165 and then I have some Sansones and uh, Bardi as well. So, and then some rare golds I need to rinse into upgrade packs before those go away. Take my last, uh, maybe take like 100k, drop myself down to a mil, which does not seem like a lot of coins. But uh, I'm really going to try to grind and get the trades going these next few weeks to get that coin amount back up because we need coins to have fun in this game, right? That's why I'm here trying to help you guys make some coins. Uh, so if you're a person that likes to grind the flips this week, it's going to be your week with icons, with stuff like this. Sterling's on bid, just flipping these cards. A lot of times cards like this sell for lazies as well because there's so many other specials out there. And the compare price is, is glitched a lot of times. If you're in into in a card, you find a card and you're like, yo, I want to compare the price. Sometimes it only shows you like one or two pages and then people just buy off that one or two page and you get some crazy lazies. So uh, that should be the market outlook for this week at the end of future, the end of headliners and possibly the beginning of future stars. If you enjoyed this video, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Account. Catch you guys later. Peace out.